in a nutshell, grooming is literally to prepare or train someone for a particular purpose. The method is sexual predator uses to gain psychological and physical control over a minor victim for their exclusive sexual gratification. They often hold a position of authority that can be a coach, a teacher, or a religious figure, a trusted adult, a family member. They use their status and rewards deeds to break down barriers. They target victims by seized, seizing on perceived weaknesses that they can exploit. Problems at home, self-esteem issues, body image issues. They instill the need to feel special, wanted, and loved. They provide understanding. They gain the victim's trust and control by isolating the victim. They instill a sense of trust that equates to love. Examples, I'm the only one who truly gets you. I love you. This is so special. You can't do this without me. Can you imagine how that translates to an athlete? You can't accomplish your goals without me. We can't be together any longer if you talk. No one will believe you. If you tell anyone, your family's going to break apart. Reward, praise, punishment, and guilt. Extra attention. The parents are groomed. Friends can be groomed. Other coaches can be groomed. They provide gifts, trips to amusement parks. They buy food. Now, the sexual relationship occurs after the predator has installed a sense of peace, I'm sorry, a sense of love, loyalty, and emotional dependence. Desensitizes the victim to sex via talks, pics, kissing and touching, barrier testing. The minor is programmed to equate attention to sex, and sex is to love. They can shame the victim to maintain secrecy. They can also affect the access to the team, what sports they participate in. The sexual predator is a complete narcissist, void of compassion. They don't care that the victim is essentially used and discarded. They're articulate and calculated. They know exactly what they're doing. This is well planned. If the plan fails, they move on to the next prospective victim. 